Mr. Wilson, the defendant was your mother's caregiver. Yes, ma'am. But then what I gather is you and your wife were going away. Correct. And Miss Prusel needed a place to stay. So you made an arrangement with her that she would take care of your mother and she would move into the house. Correct. She would live rent free. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So you were just letting us stay there in exchange for helping take care of your mom? Yes, ma'am. And it is your claim that while she was there, she caused certain damage to property in the house? Yes, ma'am. Ms. Prusel says that she did not cause the damage. She has a ridiculous counterclaim that she took more care of your mother than she thought she was going to take care of and that you were running an Airbnb that she had to sort of oversee in the house, all things that required more time so she should get money for that. Not true. Well, you have no contract with him for more money. That was not indicated here. So you're not entitled to money just because you think you deserve it. Do you understand? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. Okay. When did she become caretaker of your mother and start living in the house? Okay. I'm going to try to paint the best picture I can. For you. No, just tell me. I, th that required a date. Oh, okay. When did she um, start? That about, required... about a year and a half ago she no, started. No, not a year and a half ago. When did she move into your oh, house? Oh, December 28th. I have this uh, signed agreement with her. I'd evidence. like to see it. Okay. This says that she takes the responsibility of Judith Wilson, that she's a home health aide. Are you licensed? I'm a re registered nurse. She's not currently licensed, ma'am. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm right. I've got a question. Do you have to be a registered home health aide in the jurisdiction where you live? Not to take care of the, the, his mother, the type of patient she is. She's um, basically, I just help her with getting food, help her get bathed, you know, activities of daily living. No medication, no nothing. No, ma'am, you do not. Okay. I am responsible for any and all things having to do with her care and well-being. I have been given guardianship by her son, Michael Wilson, who has her power of attorney. Agreement will remain in effect until June 1st, 2018. Where are you living now, Ms. Brazil? I live with my mother. Are you currently employed? Yes, ma'am. By home? Myself. I take care of pe 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 people, excuse me. Oh. You want to tell me, Mr. Wilson, what damage you are alleging? Uh, damage to my television, damage to my wall from a supposed accidental discharge from one of my rifles from my gun collection. Do you have photographs of the yes, damage? Yes, ma'am. There's the TV. Um, there's also a video of the... Oh, sorry, sir. Just a minute. Just oh. a minute. Photographs. The video of the TV. Thanks. The video will show when the TV repairman came out uh, and got the TV to come on temporarily. You can see the lines, you know, kind of like on your cell phone if you get a crack Where in. was the TV? In my bedroom. Is that where the defendant was sleeping? Yes, ma'am. And where was your gun? It, they're all up in my bedroom. Yeah, I don't keep anything down outside of my bedroom. I have a solid... They're in a cabinet? Yes. I have a picture of that as well. May I see it, please? And I told her to keep my room secured at all times. It has a deadbolt on it. It has a solid bedroom door. I did that intentionally to keep everything more secure. Just a second. Was this cabinet broken into? It was shot. It was shot. It was shot. <laughs> a bullet went through the glass, went through the back of it, through the wall. And tell me when you discovered that, sir. Uh, my mother had, they, she didn't expect me home till June the 1st, is that a statement? Um, my mother had a catastrophic stroke. I had to come home early. I came, I came home in March, and that's when the real story um, had come out about the gun cabinet. I had sent my stepson here while I was gone. I told him, I said, pretend like you're getting me something out of my room so you can check my room out for me. And he went up there. He said... Don't tell me what he said. Okay. You went up there when, sir? Uh, I went up there that evening. What evening? Uh, I don't know the exact date. What month? Of February. Okay, so you went to the house to check on it in February. Correct. Was she at home? She was. She allowed me in the room. She's the only one with access. And what did you find? When you walked in? When I approached the room, she allowed me to go in. I was on the phone with Mike. The first thing I noticed was a gun cabinet being broken, shattered. It was taped up, so the glass wasn't all the way pressed through. Um, I noticed that the room had clothes and um, items all over the room. 